All right, guys. So welcome back to another uh, oddball video. Um, so what we have here is this uh, batch of chemicals. We got methyl hydrate, which is just hardware store grade methanol, acetone, and castor oil from clots. So what the idea here is is we're going to mix um, I don't know roughly about 80% of that methyl hydrate, about 85, then maybe 5% acetone. 10% oil, something like that. So we got four ounces of oil. We got 50 milliliters, which is two ounces of acetone. And this is a homebrew fuel that I've heard of a few times. I've never tried it myself, but we're going to try it in the RC10 GT with a Pro 15 engine that's been run on gas and everything else. I'm going to make a separate video about that engine because I'm going to tear it down and clean it before I run it again after the gasoline experiments, which did not really work out. Anyways, let's get on with it here. I don't have a tripod anymore since it got broken. So you guys are currently resting against a can of old Milwaukee beer. Right, so, I think you guys can see, I think you guys can see, all right. So we have four ounces of clots. We're going to mix the methanol and oil first because sometimes acetone and castor oil aren't friends. So I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'm pouring it in at the moment. Someone asked recently if you can use two-stroke oil, and no, you can't. Like regular, uh, non-synthetic, or most of them won't blend with this kind of fuel that just separates and makes a big mess. So I'm just letting this drain just for a moment. And there we are. Okay, so we got our castor oil. There's some still left in the container, so let's top it off another little, little bit for what's left in the container. There we go. Should be right on the dime. All right. So next, we are going to add... This oil is biodegradable, by the way. Next, we're going to add... Not acetone, but we're going to add methyl hydrate. Methyl hydrate, like I was saying before, is just uh, kind of, you know... Uh, hardware store grade methanol it's not super super pure but I have used it in the past uh, and it does work not as good as race grade but it does work but I've never tried this with acetone before so apparently it's supposed to tune easier and run better for zero nitro there's gonna be a part two to this video at a later date um, when the weather's a bit better. I'm just using my squeezy bottle for my fuel here because I don't want to try to tip the jug of methanol upright because if I do, only my luck I'll end up spilling it absolutely everywhere. And I don't want to do that. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna shake it. It's not all the way done yet, but we're gonna shake it up. We still got some more to add. Now we're going to add our acetone, our two ounces, which is 50 milliliters. Actually, there's 60 milliliters in here. I poured in too much by accident, but that's all right. Oh, almost there. Suggest doing this in a well-ventilated area. There we go. Because acetone freaking stinks, and it's really, really flammable. Well, all the stuff is flammable except for the oil. This is, uh, well, I mean, I was going to do it with um, uh, medical grade castor oil, but uh, I couldn't find any in my area, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. So that's why I'm using the old, good old standby. I was going to use everything you could buy kind of at the hardware store or grocery store. I'm still going to do that at a later date, but I just want to see if this is actually going to work first before I, you know, spend $25 on uh, medical grade castor oil. So. Lids on tight. Give it a shake. Looks pretty good. So that's uh, three ounces is nine percent. So ten ounces, is, or sorry, ten ounces. Four ounces is ten and a half ish, eleven. You know, right around there, it's fine. I mean, I don't really need a whole lot of oil in there, but that's more than enough. So there it is. Um, 
like I said, the weather is terrible, but I am going to try this soon. Maybe even in my underground parking lot, we will see. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, hardware store grade RC fuel over and out. Thanks for watching.